Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's time for some Europa Universals 4 as uh, the Mother Russia with the Rights of Man expansion. So we just embraced colon colonialism, so our tech costs are quite a bit considerably better. Holy crap, I just realized that my Saritsa is a lawgiver. That's cool. So we have a, a lower legitimate or lower autonomy. Monthly autonomy change, minus 0 0.5. She's reigned since 1531. Holy crap, man. She's like the Catherine the Great of this campaign. She's been alive for a long time. She's been a pretty good ruler. We've actually had a lot of success because of her rulership. So, we've embraced colonialism. You know what that means. We get to go and attack the Uzbek. <clears throat> and possibly the Chagatai. Yeah, Chagatai, we've got, we've got some claims over there. So, we will want to make that happen. So let's march on over there. We are streaming on YouTube and we have a lot of viewers in the chat, about 12 right now, which is pretty cool. Um, I never get that kind of success on Twitch. So this is this is making me super happy. Ooh, we do have Kazani Separatists though, still. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and take that admin tech. We're behind on admin and Diplo, which is a problem. Not on military though, so hopefully I can take some of these, some of these ideas. Let's go ahead and keep like, how big is this rebellion? Only 12,000. We'll go ahead and keep some troops here. Let's have another general. Uh, we got a 343. I'm going to go ahead and give this 413 here to Penza. And the guy who's going to lead the invasion of Uzbek is going to be the 3-4... Um, the three, four, what is he? 3-4-3? Three, three? No siege value, which sucks, but that's okay. <clears throat> uh, when was this colony done? Oh, damn. We've had colonists available for a while now. That's a damn shame, but okay. I can intervene in a war. I'm a war. Show superiority. This is the League War. Burgundy and Spain versus Great Britain, Poland, and Austria. This is the League War. Burgundy and Spain, Portugal, Hungary, Milan, Sweden, Brittany, Tuscany, Ferrara, Norway, Cologne, Livonian Order, Switzerland, Trier, Liege, Riga, New Spain, and Portugal's Portuguese Brazil. Ooh. Who's winning? Who's got the balance of power? So France, France joined, France joined the Protestant League, whereas Burgundy and Spain are in the Catholic League. How is Spain, or how is France losing? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we can, we can either declare war on Uzbek or we can join the League War on Burgundy's side. Burgundy is at war with all of that. I will, I will admit, they have quite a few allies. Spain, Hungary, Milan, basically, you know, most of Italy here. The um, Spanish Italy also is there. Brittany's there. Even though Brittany is actually Protestant, they allied Burgundy. Um, we'd be fighting all that. Ooh, they do. we would be fighting the Ottomans, though. That's right. Oh, no, we wouldn't. No. No, we wouldn't. The Ottomans aren't in, a, in the league. No, the, we wouldn't be fighting the Ottomans. The Ottomans declared war on somebody else. They declared war on Hungary, yeah. So I'm going to leave this to the YouTube chat. I'm going to ask them. Uh, join League War. Or attack Uzbek and stay neutral. <clears throat> I want to see what they say. Join the League War or... Be neutral and attack Uzbek. It's up to you guys. You decide. That also means we probably want a Navy. <clears throat> so I got one vote for attack Uzbek. Attack Uzbek. Um, I mean, I guess if I was to put my opinion in on it, I think I would prefer to attack Uzbek. In fact, I could even maybe attack the Golden Horde. Nope, never mind. Ottomans would join in on that. I got one vote for attack Uzbek. I got one vote for the League War. I got two votes for attack Uzbek. I got three votes for attack. No, two votes for attack Uzbek. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I don't necessarily have any stake in the League War itself, besides maybe weakening Poland and Sweden. You know, I but I can't. It's not like I can separate peace anybody or do anything like that. Plus, the war would be, you know, like, like 20, 30 years long. We'd be fighting for the next 30 years. Uh, ooh. This is an interesting recommendation. Attack Uzbek and then join the League War. 
And then I got another one. Attack Uzbek and then attack Kiva. That also I do like. I do like how that sounds as well. I think I think the uh, the the chat has decided we should attack Uzbek. Yep. Let's stay neutral for a little while. Let's see how the war plays out, and then we can intervene. <clears throat> so Uzbek should be a pushover. I'm almost positive. They have twelve thousand. That's it. Wow. Let's go and invade here. Uh, can I fully annex this? No, I can't. So they're gonna they're gonna have some stuff left over. Okay, that's all right. Capital is right here. <clears throat> Let's march on in there. Let us pacify the steps. Do you have any cannons here? Oh, wow, I have 16,000 here, too. I didn't realize I had these troops. <clears throat> I guess Chagatai declared on Uzbek as well. Damn, people trying to take my gains. We should try and block out Uzbek the best we can, or block out Chagatai the best we can. Um, let's go and detach. Let's detach the cannons. Does this guy have siege value? No, he doesn't. Okay, let's go ahead and march. Let's leave the cannons there. We're going to go ahead and march out out here. We're going to, um, let's fully occupy Uzbek, and then we'll figure out what we're going to go with this. We do have a colonist on the way here to Sergut, here in northern Siberia. We're going to annex most of this from the Horde. Look at my name, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, guys, it's beautiful. <clears throat> Damn, we already took that fort? Oh my god, that was fast. Holy crap. That was super quick. Um, I can't fully annex this, really? I would love to do that. That would be so cool. Aggressive expansion is not even that bad. We got those Kazani Separatists. We should be able to put that down with little effort. Yeah, we only lost uh, 3,500. That sounds so inhumane when I say that, though. <laughs> Imagine, that's 3,500 brothers and sons and husbands. But it's hard to look at the game in that way. Desensitized by video games. Would I recommend it? <clears throat> okay, so let's come in here. Let's let's fully occupy the rest of this. I believe because they own that, it, it's not going to count as a hundred war score, uh, which is funny, which is which is interesting the way that works. I'm taking some attrition here. I don't want to get out of there. Uh, we just killed somebody there. You know, would it would it be worth vassalizing this guy? No, I'd probably have to release him. If I if I had a vassal, I could release like Sabir or something. I'd, it'd probably be worth it. But yeah, we're gonna be in the far east here pretty soon, hopefully. So can't can't fully annex, right? Uh, no, no way. Holy shit, that's a pretty serious coalition right there. Uzbek, Golden Horde, Chagatai, Gazmuk, and Genoa. No, actually, you know what? It's not, it's not serious. Never mind. I'll take it. All belong to Mother Russia. Holy shit, I don't even have the points for this. Damn. Look at that corruption. Look at that corruption. 73% overextension. It's fine. We can take it. <laughs> All belong to Mother Russia. Gold goes into pockets and does not leave. <clears throat> Let's see here. We can intervene in the war. Uh, actually, let me need to double check here. Where is this? Iglino. Okay, so let's stay at peace for a little while. Let's get this overextension taken care of. In fact, I probably should have focused on admin, shouldn't I? I could disinherit this girl. Lose 50 prestige. But, I mean, she has that weak claim anyway, right? I'll think about it. Damn. Mother Russia is strong. Oh my god, dude. France is getting demolished. How was that remotely possible? The Netherlands are also independent here. 
Yeah, okay, so we have pretty serious coalition problems here. Holy god. That is the price to pay for an expansionist Russia. <clears throat> so Uzbek, we'll, we'll finish those guys up sometime in the future. Uh, I will want to attack. Wow, Ottomans embrace the printing press. We're building up a navy here. Um, preferably just galleys and I think lights. We don't have a lot of sailors though. So that's going to take some time to build up, but that's okay. <clears throat> so we have um, forces spread out all over the Far East, which is which is fine. Um, raising autonomy here probably is not very useful. I don't think so. Most of this is already pretty high, so we're just going to have to deal with the unrest as, as it comes. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have pretty serious rebel problems for a few years. <clears throat> Let's see here. YouTube chat wants me to attack Kiva. I definitely have too much aggressive expansion for that to be feasible at the moment. Possibly in the future, though. Um, Discipline guy would be kind of cool. I don't need the manpower. Let's see here. Clergy... We have pretty low inflation now, only 2%. Diplomat in St. Petersburg. What does a diplomat get me again? He gets me... Um, is he the guy that gives me better relations over time? Or is he the... Um, I think it's a statesman. Uh, the diplomat. Damn it, I can't... I think the diplomat... Isn't the diplomat the guy that gives you diplomatic reputation? And the statesman is the guy that gives you better relations over time. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's how that works. Cossacks. Cossacks can give me an army reformer. That might be that might be useful. The theologian there. Master of Mint. I mean, a master of mint wouldn't, wouldn't be that bad. Level 3, 50% cheaper to employ. Lower army maintenance and just hang out for a while. Because I need the points for sure. Let's just let's just take it. Um oh, the diplomat is the guy that has. The better relations over time. Hell yeah. And then we're going to take this uh, yearly inflation reduction. We're going to lose hell of money for a while. Because this damn... Um, this corruption. 10 ducats a month on corruption alone. We do have this this um, revolt that's going to rise up here pretty soon. 20,000 actually in Ostracon. 30,000 Siberian separatists that's going to rise up hopefully. Wow. 27,000 Muscovite particularists. Some pretty serious shit, guys. Pretty serious shit. I mean, I need the points though. We're gonna we're gonna need the points. We lose almost ten ducats a month. Wow, it's quite a bit. Rooting out corruption is is pretty bad. Um, fort maintenance. Sorry, right. we do pay a lot in forts. Most of it is over here in the west. And I think I would prefer not to get rid of most of these forts. The Borg is nice. We also do need one here. Novgorod. Yeah, I mean, keeping it's not bad. I do have, I do have these two forts here right next to each other. The Ryzon and Moskva. Ryzon actually has more development than Moscow at this point. Moscow is the, uh, the inland center of trade, though. Let's go ahead and delete the fort here. I don't think we'll ever need these. I would prefer to build forts here on the on the perimeter. So let's go ahead and get rid of these two. Nishi Novgorod and Kazan. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep forts here in the west. I want to build more along along this route, but let's see here. So we do have these rebels. They're gonna rise up here eventually. Go ahead and lower the army maintenance. I'll just keep an eye on rebellions for now. Um, we just need to wait for this this coring to be done. The Ostrakhani separatists will rise up pretty soon. 
Yeah, they're already at 80%. <clears throat> So they they will be here um soon soon not not yet but like they'll they'll get there. So building up a navy. We do have um with the army maintenance reduced we we are making a little bit more money, you know. Um I don't like to have so much excess money, but we need to be able to invest it in, in stuff as well. Unsuitable recruits, we just lost some men. Oh well. We're we're at, we've been at three stability for what, like 15, 20 years? Jesus. Uh, let's see, rebel Siberian separatists. We might want to move the uh, the armed forces out of Siberian territory. <clears throat> Supplies for the Cossacks. Son of a bitch. We took a loan just for just for loyalty, really. The Cossacks cavalry combat ability, and then um, if their loyalty is above sixty, they give me cavalry cost and the combat ability. But if I make them mad. Yeah, we'll lose the prestige. I, I can't... I don't want to take a loan. Come on. It's bullshit. Let's keep an eye on these, uh, these, these rebel factions here. My navy's building up nice and glorious. <clears throat> 90% on those Ostrakhani separatists. Uh, okay, now I think it's time to raise the maintenance. Let's go ahead and squash that stack. These damn advisors, man, they're going to help me out with the points, but they're just, ex they're expensive. That's just the problem, because they're super expensive. We might also need to develop some more to spread the institution. Um, I would prefer St. Petersburg to be developed. Also in, uh, preferably Moscow. Moscow would be nice. 127 uh, points to develop here. That's a little too much for me. Moscow would, would probably make more sense. Three percent each development. Wow, that's a lot. Let's try finding. Um, is there any, like farmland or anything? I mean, grasslands here. Tiver. What about Tiver? Any printing press in these areas? No, not that I see. Uh, I'm lucky that Saint Petersburg was was grasslands. Actually, it did it did help quite a bit with the costs. What happens if I develop like that? Fifteen ninety. Yeah, actually, now now that I think about it, to develop this to, to get that... Oh my god, look at that city, it's huge. To get that development there in St. Petersburg, to get that new... Um, the printing press institution, it's probably worth it, right? Because we're, we're putting ourselves... We're putting ourselves ahead of all these guys who have not gotten it yet. They're gonna get there. So... <clears throat> I think it's worth spending the points. Um, we're not ahead on tech by any means. Well, on military we are. Military is important, but... I think spending the points to get that um, to get that development in the institutions is, is probably worth it. Let's get one more recovery tick here. It's gonna march on in there. They might they might take that fort. That's okay. The separatism really isn't that bad. <coughs> Could be worse. We're gonna get Kazani separatists or uh, oh Kazakh separatists. Never mind. Where is that gonna be? Let's go ahead and move these guys out of here. Silver extension is gonna come down in just a bit. Kazakh Separatists, where are they going to rise up? 21,000 in Turgay. These two. <clears throat> this is actually, let's go ahead and march some troops in here. Let's keep a general. Let's keep one general here. And let's keep one general there. We're losing some monies. Um, this, this corruption is going down, though. Right? Yeah. What, from what I can see, anyway. How many How many separatists? 21,000? The Sabir are also going to rise up. Uh, particularists are also going to rise up. Let's keep some troops here. Let's keep soldiers nearby. <coughs> yeah, these Kazakh separatists are going to rise up pretty, pretty soon. Um, let's try and develop here in uh, in our capital. Let's get this institution. Yes. It it is interesting that monarch points are are even more important than they were before. It's just so necessary. Damn it! I forgot about these. Uh, forgot about these natives up here. It's just so necessary to have 
monarch points now it, even more than it was before it, but it, it it's nice that it also involves money like you need money to um holy shit are you serious the siberian separatists rose up before the damn kazaki separatists you guys suck damn natives damaged my colony you bastards stop messing with my colonists You damn rebels, you guys all suck. I don't make deals with peasants. <clears throat> let's go and get some, uh, some, let's get some infantry up here in my colony. And then let's just keep troops still here in, in this area for rebel problems. Let's put some troops on uh, the Kievan border. I would love to attack Kiva sometime in the near future. Um, once we get this, once we get some of this, um, some of these institutions uh, wrapped up and taken care of. We're losing a lot of money still. At least we were. Colonialism is spread mostly through this territory. Um, we can embrace. When are we going to be able to embrace this? Soon, hopefully. How's the spread? Let's check out the spread. Printing press. It is here in St. Petersburg. It's going to spread around um, hopefully fairly quickly. <clears throat> It's quick, but it's not that quick. It's like five years at 1.81. It's, it's uh, quite a while for some of these other places. So it's it's not it's it's quick, but it's not that quick. Jason Province has printing press. What the hell, printing press is here in my capital. What are you talking about? Nearby friendly province has printing press. Jason Province is printing press plus zero. Hmm. Jesus Christ, man, these rebel problems. <clears throat> we got particularists, Kazaki separatists are gonna rise up, and then that's it. We're done with rebels for a while. Hopefully. We've we've spent so much manpower and money trying to kill these guys. Oh my god. It's like not even funny. How's our overextension? 42%. Okay, so we could probably lower this this corruption spending now. Kazaki separatists are gonna rise up. We're still making some money, but definitely not as much as before. Having um, two level three visors at half cost is is expensive. And we're we're still colonizing, building up a fleet, and we have um, yeah, we're colonizing, building up a fleet, and we have missionaries as well. And we still almost make a positive balance. We're actually making positive balance right now. Isn't that crazy? Kazaki Separate is 14,000 where in Turgay or Kastone? Okay, so we should be able to take this whatever it is. I didn't even see this stack. Where the hell did that guy come from? Kiva declared war on the Chukatai. <clears throat> I would love to intervene in that war, but I won't worry about it. We did get a costume penalty there, no leader, but we're still going to take, take care of that pretty handily. Oh my god, guys, these rebel problems. Holy Jesus. It's pretty bad. The Ural, we can make that into a state. Where is that? Ural. Yeah, it's going to take some time. That's uh, it's going to take some time there. So, all right. Looks like France and um, France and Burgundy have made peace. France will see Barry, Vermandois, and Namur to Burgundy. Wow. We got peaced out of that, that league war. Oh my god, Burgundy is massive, dude. Oh, you know why? It's because Burgundy is a Holy Roman Emperor. That's right. They get um, they get uh, plus four tax income, 15,000 manpower cap, land force limit plus 14. That's why they're doing so well in their damn war. They're actually not winning that league war, though. So That's funny. I have troops all over the empire. My force limit. I have 108 force limit. I have 102 regiments. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, those Kazaki separatists are still going to rise up, so I can't lower maintenance just yet. 50 prestige, 50 diplo, or 50 admin, 50 diplo. Holy shit, 50 prestige? That is a lot. 50 admin would be cool too, but I don't really need the admin per se. 50 diplo is nice. 
Dude, 50 prestige is a lot. Yeah, I'll take the points though. Probably wasn't the best decision, but I'll take the admin. I don't mind admin at all. <coughs> uh, rigorous researchers, we got 40 of each points. Uh, 40 of each category in points. Nice. Sasaki separatists. Uh, I'm getting a little bit behind in my text now. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are on 15, 14, and 15. I'm on 13, 12, and 14. That's that's pretty bad. So we're going to catch up on military, I think, but maybe not the other techs. Damn institutions, spread faster, you bastards. Printing press. Oh, it's just, it takes forever. Look at that. I'm not sure if that was the best decision to try and, and try and um, improve that printing press institution. It takes forever. It takes so long. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think about the series, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much.